we're going to take a look at the Quality Craft Models Verta Pack. This dates back to about the time that the cars were new. The uh, kit sold for $5.95. It was their Kit S7. And I remember as a kid seeing these kits and always being disappointed because I would open them up and it's like, that doesn't look like what I thought it would be. Uh, what you got in these kits, if you've never seen one, is a description of the prototype and information. Very necessary plans for a kit of this nature. And they're very nicely done. There's the VertiPak all laid out for you to show you what it should end up being and looking like with underframe, uh, paint information, the whole nine yards. And I think this might have been added later. I don't think you actually got the Katie insulators. Uh, this is the side piece, the doors. And there were 15 doors per side. The ladders that you would have to cut and put together. Uh, you had cast metal pieces as well as wood, as well as some brass wire and that kind of thing included in kits of this nature. Um, I think the thing that would be the challenge for it, and I mean these are excellent, they're great craftsman type kits, and for the time they certainly allowed you to build cars that otherwise would not have been produced in a ready to run or more simple form. So they were fantastic in what the you know you were able to do with them. This looks like an end piece, but certainly not for the, it's not what uh, what Varney used to call their simple screwdriver kits, that these certainly would take a bit of skill to put together and make. And of course, once it's all done in wood, it's got to be sealed before you can paint the wood. Uh, and decals, I don't, I thought there was a sheet of decals with this set, and maybe I misplaced them somewhere, but I thought this actually came with a set of decals. But the VertiPak is an example of the quality craft kits that were on the market. They made a number of things of different varieties from modern, what well, was modern at the time when this came out, to uh, old time things as well. Uh, went through a number of changes through the years. This example, I think, dates from about the time they came out. Uh, the VertiPak, of course, was a Vega Monza carrier that was General Motors H-body style, and it was a design built by the Southern Pacific and ACF. And now, of course, to save us all that trouble and all that woodwork, uh, ExactRail in recent years has done an example of it, and it's a very neat, neat car. Uh, the VertiPak carrier has been done by them in HO scale, and they've done at least two runs of it. There was a second run done in the last couple of years. I think the examples that I have here are all from the first offering of this car. But certainly, as far as what we just looked at at the wood pieces, let's take a look at a finished example here, and you kind of get an idea of what all that might have come together and looked like if you had the time and patience and ability. So again, some of those metal pieces on that quality craft kit were no doubt our under-rigging materials. Remember the wires that I had in my hand, no doubt were this. Uh, the end pieces, I don't even remember seeing the brake wheel in there, but I assume there was a brake wheel in the quality craft kit. Uh, but this is certainly a much easier way to have a VertiPak running on your layout. Uh, fantastic model of a very unique prototype, and again, it's available from ExactRail. You can get more information on it at ExactRail.com. And that's a look at the old quality craft models and then what we have today available to us in HO scale. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.